Biological pest control is when a large population of pests are controlled by introducing a new threat which could be a natural enemy or predator. In simple terms, by adding a new threat, such as disease, insect or animal, if successful, can lead to fewer or no more pests. For example, in 1950, the myxomatosis virus was released in order to control the rabbit population. At the time, it was successful as it wiped out around 99% of infected rabbits. Biological control is important as it helps to control the population of pests that can destroy habitats for native animals and crops for humans. For example, if rabbits were not biologically controlled, they'd be overpopulated. Biological pest control can go wrong, for example the cane toad. The cane toad was introduced in the 1930s in order to contain the population of cane beetles as they were destroying the sugar cane crops. Initially the idea worked, but it was soon discovered that the cane toad was too poisonous for any native animals to eat and it reproduced too quickly. This caused a population increase which has now covered almost half of Australia. Because the cane toad is not native to Australia, there is no animal with a natural tolerance to its poison, so it is able to live and breed without threat. There is no current plan to control the cane toad. Scientists are working on ideas to control the cane toad but they are too fast bred, reproducing too quickly and are too poisonous for any animal to help control the population.